So today we're going to focus on tightening of the abdominal skin. Uh, as we grow older, we all know that we're going to lose collagen and elastin in the skin. And that's also happening in the abdominal area. And especially with women who gave birth, uh, this might be a problem area where, where they find themselves looking at themselves aesthetically unpleasing in this area as well. Now there are several options to treat this, but today we're going to talk about uh, hyperdiluted calcium hydroxylapatite, which is a subtle way to tighten up the area of the, the skin area of the uh, abdomen. Now we have today we have with us a 33 year old woman who gave birth to a, a wonderful son two years ago almost, um, and she of course still has a really pretty belly. But as you might notice, there is some laxity of the skin occurring. Now looking at the abdomen as well, we don't see any scar tissue and we don't see a lot of scratch, uh, stretch marks from, resulting from the birth, but it's getting more loose. Um, so this is an excellent indication for calcium hydroxylapatite because it's minimal invasive and it's relatively low in complications. Um, uh, the adverse events that you might be uh, occurring are bruising and local pain, but they're all mild and transient and don't need any med medical intervention to resolve. All right, so we already disinfected the skin once, but we're gonna start uh, making our markings now. Uh, first with the outer borders. Uh, the top border is at the lower part of the rib cage, something like this. Then we go to the side borders of the abdominal wall all the way down to the bikini line. So this is going to be the full area that we're going to treat and we're going to mark uh, the boxes of 4 by 4 centimeters because that's twice the length of the needle that encompasses with the syringes of the calcium hydroxylapatite. Something like this. All right, perfect. And also horizontally. So now we're doing some basic Calculus. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, eighteen boxes uh, areas that we're gonna need to treat. And we all know that uh, one syringe of calcium hydroxylapatite um, you can treat about one hundred square one hundred square centimeters. So eighteen times four is about three hundred. So we need about more or less three syringes to treat this full area. Uh, and we already looked at the um, thickness of the skin and this is perfect treatment to do a 1 to 2 hyperdilution of the calcium hydroxylapatite. So if the patient wishes to have some extra anesthetics, you also can um, apply some anesthetic cream before the treatment then mix your calcium hydroxylapatite before you start so it can actually do its work a little bit. So apply it thickly and just leave it set for a couple of minutes before you start doing your treatment. We're first gonna start with the um, uh, retrograde linear thread technique and I'll later on show you also how to do it with a fanning technique. Right, are you ready? Okay. So we're gonna start here at the top and it's easiest to stretch the skin a little bit and inject in slow fashion. So try to stay in the dermal subdermal junction area and we're gonna make a linear thread of about 0 0.05 per thread. Again, retrograde linear threads. It's important to stay in the correct anatomical layer because if you go 
too deep, you end up in this um, subcutaneous layer. And there are no fibroblasts over there, so you want to really hit those fibroblasts to activate them uh, and produce some collagen. If you get too superficial, then you might see any deposits uh, through, through the skin, which is aesthetically unpleasing. Because you're making a lot of puncture wounds, don't forget to change the needle every now and then so the tip of the needle won't get blunt and you will cause extra pain to the patient, which is unnecessary. We just uh, did our basic male calculus math and we uh, calculated that we needed three syringes. So basically every line needs one syringe. And because we hyperdiluted it in a one to two fashion, uh, you can say uh, that one syringe per two squares uh, is necessary to treat her. So I already did one side and I will just go work my way back. So I will make a little bit of a cross hatching as well. So it will spread out nice and evenly throughout the skin. Come together. Okay. Zo, schat. <laughs> 